Hey everyone, welcome to this video. As you can see, in this one we work on the first item to equip. In this case, it's the left hand and the X. We will use this as our driving example for everything. Keep in mind that this is not the finished equipment, it's just the first step on fully equipping and unequipping items. Let's begin with the tutorial. Let's start by finding our widgets and opening the equipment view. And also open the equipment slot. So here go to the graph, click on the button and click on the unclicked event. From here we need a new variable which will be our player ref. And I will pick just a third person character. And I pull this in here. For the communication, let's find our MVP third person character and let's create in the same folder an interface to communicate with this. So call this bi underscore third person character. You can also give it another name, but this will just be the blueprint interface with all the functions needed for the BP third person character. And the first one here will be try equip item. And this one needs an input, which will be an item. Uh, search for s underscore inwin sorry item data this one and this will be item to equip compile and save it and then go to the third person character and here under class settings search for your blueprint interface this one compile and then go to the event graph and search for try equip item this one so to finally reach this point we need to go back to the equipment slot and we should say here try equip item message like this and then we get the item data of this current slot and we pass it to the character this will still not work because our player reference is null at the moment. So make it editable and expose us on spawn so that we can set this player ref when we create this item slot. So for this, we go in to our widgets and we open the filtered item view, this one, which generates our equipment item slots. And we say refresh notes. And now we have here player reference. And we can just promote it to a variable like this. And same goes for this player ref. Compile and save it and then go back to the main window, this one. And here we want to search for this uh, widget creation and we say refresh notes. And then we just pick our player reference and we put it in. And since we used a function here, it will be set for every widget. If you want to make sure now that everything works, you can go to the third person character, press F9 to create a breakpoint here. And then you can play and pick a watermelon, for example, and then press T, go to the bottom. Yeah, the watermelon is the bottom for me. And when I click now here, you can see I will have this break here. So this means everything worked correctly. We clicked on the watermelon and it will go to the BP third person character with the item to equip. In this case, it's a watermelon. Make sure to remove the breakpoint by hitting F9 again or right clicking and go here to the breakpoint settings. And you can see I have here a remove and breakpoint. From here, let's work on creating a new function. This one will be equip item. And we want to get this equip item in here. And this equip item gets an input of type item data. And this one will also item to equip. Connect them, 
compile and go into the equip item. Here we want to break the item to equip and we want to get the category and we want to switch on it. We can collapse the rest and here we will determine what to do with specific item that come in. For this we need another function. This one will be attach. So we use this to attach something. Get this and we attach here the weapon and we attach armor. Click on the attach and then get an input which also will be item to equip. And then we can get this item to equip by simply right clicking and searching for item to equip. This one you can just also simply just connect the lines but uh, this will make it a little bit cleaner like this. After this we get another function and this one will be refresh capture on. So we use this function to yeah, refresh the um, capture pawn which we see in the in the character view so get this in here and we connect them to both like this then we get the ac equipment in we check if it's valid just to be sure and if it's valid we get the ac inventory remove item singer so remove this item from the current inventory. Get the item to equip again. We break it. And we get the unicity. Like this. Then we get for the last part the AC equipment. And actually we need to first create a function that we can call. So inside here we create a new function we call this on equip new item so we knew that what should be happen when we equip a new item we call this from here on equip new item like this and also we should give the data of the equipped item We will use this to call the UI and refresh everything inside there. So let's get this here like this. Okay, that's it for the equip item. Now we should work on the functions that we use here. So first, obviously the attach. We break here again. We get our equipment settings and we break this one also. Then we collapse this and now we can switch on the equipment slot. Inside here, we also will uh, combine a slot to an item data so that we can save it for this. Create a new variable, which is called equipped items. And this one will be setting or from the type equipment slot, this one. And then we create a map. So we will always have an equipment slot and also an item data that is connected to that. So we can watch into here to see which items currently on the character. In this example, I will work with the left hand. So from the left hand, we search for the branch function. We get in our equipped items and we try to find something inside this one. And what do we want to find? We want to find, in this case, the left hand. And if we can find it, we know that the player has a left hand item connected to it. And if that's the case, we want to have another function, which is unequip item. Back in here, we pull this in from the true branch. When we find left hand, we want to unequip. And if we don't find, we want to, yeah, do something else. In the false branch, we want to set static mesh. But at the moment, we don't have some static meshes in here. So let's create a static mesh that we connect to the mesh of the character. And we call this left hand mesh. OK, 
can get this in here. And we can just simply say set static mesh. The new mesh will be the item to equip. So search for get item to equip. And from here, we break everything so that we get the mesh data. And in this case, it should be inside the equipment settings. Uh, sorry, not the equipment settings. We have it inside the recording settings. So here's the mesh like this. Next, copy and paste the left hand mesh. And after we set the static mesh, we want to attach component to component. This one. We can also bring in the unequip item in here, like this. And then we get the mesh in and we say parent. And everything else can be like this for now, but we would change this later on. We get the equipped items in here. And we finally add something to it. In this case, we add the left hand and the item to equip will be the data that we connect to it. And actually, I just remembered we don't have to connect the unequip to the attached component because we just unequip everything. And from here, we can just simply return like this. And same goes here for the add node, the return. Before we can test this, we need to change some things. So first, let's go to the inventory and let's search for something that we can put in the left hand. So in this case, I would just use an X. Uh, you can use whatever you want, but make sure that you have a pattern of recurring things. So. Um, for example, X should always be left hand. So just in this case, I will put this in the left hand. And then I also need a socket name. So for this, we go to the BP third person character. We click on the mesh and we can just browse to this asset here. And inside here, we search for left or Let's search for hand because it's L and L, like this one. And we just say add socket. And yeah, this is a fine name. So we copy this name to the X and we put it in here like this. And then we go to the BP third person character. And inside here, we can just simply paste a name because we are in the left hand part or we can go to the item to equip, we get the equipment settings and we break the socket. In this case, you have to always say in here which socket you want to connect, otherwise it won't work. Press play and let's test the X. So go to the left hand, press on the X one time, close the inventory and you can see here we have the X connected to the character. It seems a bit off, but we will fix this. There are several ways to fix this. The first thing I want to do is to go to the left hand mesh to the viewport and search here for the parent socket. And in this case, it will be our hand L socket. And then you can just simply zero everything out. So it's now correctly connected here to the left hand. And then I go back to the Quinn and I go in here, maybe make it a bit slower. And then on the hand L socket, I can say add preview asset. And here I search for the X. And now you can see that we also have not the correct rotation. And what we will do, we will change here the rotation and I will just use some sample values. You can make it obviously a little better looking this should only demonstrate everything and what i want to do then i will copy the relative location and we'll just paste it into the item itself so that it has the same values 
copy the rotation also. And last but not least, the scale if you need, but in my case, I don't need it. Always make sure to reset the uh, location of the socket, because if you don't do, you will have messed up data when you use other assets. You can also remove uh, the double headed X here, but you can also just leave it there. When you play, it will not appear. It's only for here for the preview editor. Go back to the VP third person character and into our function here, this one. And let's get some space in here. What we want to do here is now to set the relative location. Copy and paste the left hand mesh here to the right. And also copy and paste the item to equip with the equipment settings here to the right. Then from the left hand mesh, we want to set relative location, this one. And we also want to set the relative rotation. It's relative to the connected mesh. Connect everything. And here we can simply just connect the location to the location. And for the rotation, we say make rotator this one. Now you can just break it or you can right click and say split structure pin, connect everything. And then we can compile, save everything play, pick a X up, press T, open the left hand, click here. And as you can see, it's now connected to the socket with the correct rotation and location. That should be it for this video. As you can tell, this is by far not finished and we will continue to work on the equipment and we will also do all the other stuff like unequip and removing it from the UI and also, of course, displaying it here. But yeah, that's it for this one. If you have any questions, leave them on the Discord. See you soon. Bye.